the reason why Grow Brundtland is so important and why it's so exciting for us to have her here at UVA is that she is one of the few people in the last 50 years who really changed the world for the better. When she put out this book with the UN Commission on Environment and Development, it changed everything about how people talked about development. To think of it as not growth versus conservation, but really bring people to together the table and talk about growth with conservation. To use growth as a transformative influence on the globe. This is an amazing person. Just someone who moved from one focused discipline to another and then found a way to knit them all together. And so she starts out being a doctor and is very involved in politics even as a young person coming from a very political family. And then she moved from, from being a doctor into public health, which then drives her into how does public health interface with the environment. So there's a moment where you, you come to understand how all things are related, and she's one of these people who's been able to knit together politics, public policy, um, the environment, um, health, and basically the stewardship of culture for the 21st century. Century, and she understands it all as being important. Not one of them, but all of them. And um, from what I understand, when she was uh, elected Minister of the Environment in Norway in 1974, she was really worried about taking on the post because she was a physician and had public health background, but uh, not much else. But somehow she managed to conquer her trepidation and did very well at synthesizing her expertise with the broader environmental issues, and she's got this phenomenal message of health, which uh, also has come across in my experience as one thing that really does people bring people together, because personal health and public health and family health is something that everyone cares about. And the, this is my tattered, um, well-thumbed copy of Our Common Future, which is the, which is the final report of the UN Commission on, on Environment and Development that she chaired. And it's a very important um, report, and uh, one that the pages are falling out. That's how, how uh, often I've used it uh, over the years. And the definition of sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present, uh, uh, while also ensuring the ability of future generations to meet their needs. And that sounds like uh, a very simple concept, uh, but it's a ver really one that, that carries a, a, a very deep, ethical, moral um, meaning to it. Dr. Groh actually taught me how to ski. Um, this is uh, in Keystone, Colorado, on the chairlift. She gave me this little Norwegian hat. Um, thanks, Dr. Groh. I am so excited that Bear Bartlett is coming to UVA. I can't, this is one of my heroes. I can't believe she's finally coming. I'm so, so, so excited that she's finally coming to some place where I am that I can hear her talk. After skiing, uh, next summer we met up and decided to uh, discuss some ecology of the South Carolina coastal lands and we even, uh, we even caught a shark together. It's a small little hammerhead. I'm really excited that girl Harlan Brooklyn is coming because frankly I've got kind of a thing for older women and she's totally hot. From everything I know and from everything I know about the university we are so excited to have Gro Brundlin come and share this moment with us and share really the future, of, share her vision of the future related to the environment. I think we um, are deeply impressed and are very, very happy to have her be here.